Finally, a game from the first day of Tuna Ball this year in which I played reasonably well. We don't really have our act together as far as who's going where off the break, so I end up kind of being surprised by the go, and I have a fairly conservative breakout to about our right 30 at a bunker that sometimes is called the rocket because it looks like a rocket with fins. By the way, this game is played on the Lego speedball field at Top Gun Paintball, which is a very large and very open speedball field, but there are still plenty of bunkers and plenty of opportunities to move. From this position, I can't really see a whole lot of what's going on, so I decide I would like to move back to the snake side of the field, as neither we nor the opposing team has anyone in the snake at this point. So I drop back, I go under fire from one of my back men, behind another one until I am in the back left corner of our side of the field. Yeah, I see him! You can see they have an opponent in my mirror, and I get cover fire from this guy in front of me who goes by Twilight. I get cover fire from him to move up to the base of the snake. Now I'm Thanks. in a decent position to be able to move up the left side of the field. From here I can see two opponents, and we trade fire for a little bit, but I don't want to stay here for too long. One, because it's not a terribly large bunker, and two, because it's just a waste of paint. So I bump up to the first part of the snake and immediately hop across to the second knuckle when I notice nobody has an angle on me. From here, I have a slightly better angle on the opponents I can see, but it's still not that great, and I'm going to move up further because I have the room to do so. Not only do I bump up to the far side of the snake, but I bump up to the fourth knuckle from our side, so now I am well on the opposing side of the field and have a pretty good angle on a couple of opponents. Of course, the best angle is the one your opponents don't know you have, and I caught that player unaware that I was actually this far up the snake and scored the elimination. There's also a player out to my left at this point, so he's my next concern in the opposing back left corner. Once I know exactly where this opponent is, I post up on him and wait for him to pop out again. The next time he shows himself, I hit his hopper. Let me show you that again up close because I think it was a pretty nice shot. There you go, you can see the good spray on that one. I should point out that there was either two opponents in that bunker or very shortly after I eliminated one, another one moved to fill in so I could not move further up the left side. Now this player in the red right there out to my right, we had a bit of a duel going on for a large part of this game, and I got a little uh, overextended oh. right here and really hung out there, uh, but that, you'll see that I got kind of lucky. It bounced off my elbow, but I need to check up here. Up here, right side of, right side of my head. Not that I see okay, thanks. Okay, so that was pretty lucky. I took a bounce right off the side of my head. While that was going on, we had a friendly player move okay, up. Okay, buddy, we got three right in front of us here, three. Rocket to the right and back, and then back left corner. We're in a strong position on this side of the field now, but unfortunately have nobody out to the right as far up the field. I am able here to eliminate the opponent in the back center, but that still leaves the three that I just called out. By the way, this player out to my right, this friendly player is Goat Boy again that you've seen in some of the done. other videos. Three he left, moves even right. further up, but unfortunately again without players out to the right, we can't really do much, Woo. so the game ends on a time limit. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this one.